So, we're here in the mall. It's a lovely day outside. Almost too lovely. So, I mean, here. I don't know what brought me here. I think it's because there's less likely to find cigarette butts on the ground in here because I was just, I ate lunch. I'm seriously trying to quit smoking cigarettes and I just kept on seeing cigarettes everywhere on the ground and so I know there's none in here. I won't find a cigarette. Nobody will give me one for no amount of money. So I feel safe in here. And I'm kind of just killing time. I know that's dangerous, but I'm okay with that. I think while I'm in here, I'm going to ask somebody as far as getting a new memory card. Maybe even getting this one emptied so I can, you know, get this in here out. I'm okay. I found on a level of 1 to 10, my using is like a 3. But, violence. I found... I need to have a scale. Going to violence instead of drugs. I found that it's... I need to get a scale. And it's probably... Sometimes it's like... Five. You know, without me even knowing it. Because if somebody... You know, I was just... Asked, you know, are you a programmer? And I was like... No! Because I understand that when you're in the program, you get certain benefits that the rest of us don't. And those benefits, I found, are not benefits that will help me keep me sober. Or, you know, make it more likely that I would succeed in doing whatever it is I'm doing. I found that the benefits of being a programmer are not not what I want. You know, to have jelly and jam and Starbucks donuts that the other people don't have. It's not going to help me, you know, better myself or it'll just make me become conceited and and accuse people of stinking and smelling and being the them, you know, the other not me's. Which I, I feel comfortable with where I'm at now. I feel like a person. I don't want to become, you know, a programmer, you know, because I just don't believe that it's going to help me stay sober. I want to just stay real. I want to be able to, to you know, be affected normally. Because there's no real safe place anywhere in the world. You know... I just need to be able to stay laser focused and realize that that uh, nobody's going to do this for me. I can only do this. So just so you know, I'm not a programmer. I'm just a Sean, you know, just an addict, just trying to to not, you know, to not use drugs, to not use violence, to not be a user. I think I'm okay with that. I'm uh, anticipating meeting Jeff, which should be pretty soon from here, because it is Monday at 1 o'clock. He should be back from lunch. And I'm going to go there and see if he's in. Because I'm willing to give my my life to God.
and honestly, I am a little anxious, a little anxiety, a little bit of, you know, what is going to be required of me to do this? Amazingly, I believe I'm willing to do whatever it takes. You know, because I believe that it's, it wasn't the church that brought me there, it was the people. It was the people that brought me there. So, anyway, I'm going to go. So, love you, Sean.